Why do we use a groundhog to predict weather? Okay, so most of us don't actually rely on a hibernating rodent for a forecast, but that hasn't stopped us from celebrating Groundhog Day. But back before meteorologists and weather satellites, people trusted more unusual methods to predict their weather. In Germany, there was a belief that if a hedgehog saw its shadow on Candlemas Day, there would be six more weeks of winter. When German immigrants came to Pennsylvania, they brought the tradition with them, switching to the more common groundhog. In 1887, according to History.com, a newspaper editor declared that a groundhog in Punxsutawney named Phil was America's best weather predicting rodent. The tradition continued ever since with a series of groundhogs named Phil telling us if there will be six more weeks of winter. But you would be right to question his reliability. According to estimates, he's right only 39% of the time. There might be good reason for this, according to Science Focus. While groundhogs do come out of hibernation around February, it has less to do with predicting the weather and more to do with looking for a mate. Since groundhogs aren't pack animals, they need a little time to find a partner before mating season starts in early March. So these furry little guys might be a better mascot for Valentine's Day instead. With the Y, I'm Brandi Smith.